Hi, I'm Aaron Repke, Director of Product Marketing for Electric Actuation at Emerson. Today we're talking about the Bettis RTS Failsafe Quarter Turn Electric Actuator. We've got it mounted here on a Fisher V-Ball valve, and we're going to talk about some basic setup and configuration of this actuator. You'll want to refer to your user manual and be careful to note all instructions and safety recommendations. Now we'll talk about the user interface of the Bettis RTS actuator. You can reference section seven in the user manual. The user interface has a graphical display and also LEDs at the top, which provide various indicators. The switch on the left is the selector switch to go from remote, off, and local control. The switch on the right controls navigation through the menu, as well as control of the actuator opening and closing functions, open up and close down. And the LEDs indicate various functionalities. Blue uh, light indicates Bluetooth. Red in that same position is the IR activation. You have uh, open and close green and red LEDs for open and close position of the valve, which can be flip-flopped depending on the configuration at your facility, and a one and two LED which provide some uh, troubleshooting capabilities and diagnostic information. So if we want to move the position of the valve, we can move the control switch into local mode. You can see the hand position here, it means local, and then we can operate the valve using the switch on the right side. Now these switches have a unique capability that they can be moved uh, very slightly to just inch the position of the valve. They can be moved kind of a medium open or medium close, and they can be latched either fully open or fully closed. The indicator on the right side of the screen shows you how much that switch is being activated. Now if we want to look through the menus, we put it in the off position. If we go up, this gives us some uh, outputs of binary outputs, binary inputs, uh, your analog values, 4 to 20, absolute values of position and torque, firmware, serial numbers, uh, counter values, hours on the motor runtime, and so forth. It also has a log of the history of events here, so 20 of the last uh, activities that happened on this actuator. You can cycle through those and see the date and timestamp on them. Now, if we go down in the menu, then you go through all of the configuration. So starting with end limits, again, if we move very slightly on the switch, we can just go one by one through the functions. If we go at a larger step with a switch, we can jump through sections of the menu to move to the area of the menu that we're most interested in.